Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. For today's video, I'm gonna do a Primark haul because I kind of went to Primark yesterday and bought quite a bit of stuff, so I figured why not show you. And there's also three other things that I purchased a month or two ago that I've not managed to show in any video yet. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. First up are just a couple of little bits and pieces. I bought a little shower gel for a pound because I like the smell. <laughs> Everything I bought uh, basically was with Christmas vouchers because I got quite a few vouchers for Christmas. I then got two face masks which are exactly the same for 80 pence each because I get dry skin and I figured why not and this will be my first ever face mask. Next up I got four t-shirts which seems excessive but it's not really. The first one is basically just this plain grey one. I got a size large because sometimes the mediums are a bit tight across the shoulders and this one was ooh, four pounds. I then got this Captain America one in the sale. I got a large again and the shield kind of sticks out. It's every part is textured, textured. It goes in. So yeah, and obviously you got the star in the middle. And this was originally seven pounds, reduced to three. And I thought that was a bargain for being, you know, Marvel and all. I then got a t-shirt that I like. I'm not sure if anyone else is gonna like it, but I did. And this one cost eight pounds. Again, a large, and it's this one here. It says NYC Brooklyn, New York. And it's just kind of got this flowery pattern and the bottom goes down a tiny little bit um, lower than the front and that is that and I really like it and the flower pattern just kind of continues on the back. So that was that one and I really like it. Hopefully someone else will too but they're not wearing it. Um, the final t-shirt I got was a Harry Potter t-shirt and I was looking around for a while and then I stumbled on this. Now I got a 2XL because this is a t-shirt I'll wear to lounge about in and I always go for big oversized t-shirts. This was only £6 and it's a burgundy maroon colour with the Hogwarts crest in white. As you can see you've got the H in the middle and all of the animals for the houses. And I think this is fab especially for £6 because normally all the Hogwarts clothes is in the ladies section so I feel really happy that I have this. I then got a pair of chinos. Um, I just want to say some of this is actually for an outfit for when I go to Glasgow and um, if you watched my channel update video I did mention I was going up to Glasgow for a long weekend this month because it's the first of February today and Yeah, some of this is actually for when I go up. So I just got a pair of chinos Just this kind of tan sand color. I'm not quite sure but chinos are chinos um, and these were eight quid. What a bargain. And then the final part of the outfit is these. Now I actually have these in more of a shoe form in a slightly lighter blue, but these are more of like a boot style and I really like these. They're looking kind of black on the screen, but they are, they are navy. And I really like these. And these cost 16 pound, which I've got no problem paying. Well, the vouchers paid for, but I just thought it's really cheap, especially if you were to go somewhere like, oh god, like Next or Shoe or Debenhams or something, they'd be a lot more expensive. So yeah, £16 for these. And the final four items, I've got two Harry Potter ones and I've got two Disney ones. So the first Harry Potter one is what I actually got with all of the stuff I just showed you. And it's this wand pen. And I'm actually going to take it out and show you. It's so cool. It was £1.50, which I honestly thought was a bargain. I actually think it's quite detailed, especially this part here for a pound fifty. It's just got one of these little plastic things that goes over the the nib of the pen. It's actually black ink, which I prefer to write in. My only complaint is that this bit here is actually quite heavy, so it feels a bit top heavy. But other than that, it's a fab pen, and for one fifty, it's a nice little gift, isn't it, for somebody? They love Harry Potter. One thing I almost forgot to include in this video was something that I got, I think, December time and that was um, something that Mason picked me up and then sent me. I paid for it, of course, 
and it is this light up box and I love this. I love the quote, I'm going to take it out of the box and it says, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light and then it just says Albus Dumbledore on the bottom and then that's it all lit up and it just takes two batteries I think. Two AA batteries, which I just get in Poundland. So, yeah, I love this. <clears throat> now for the final two Disney items. This is something I wanted in like November, December, and I seen it once in my Primark, and when I went again, it was gone. And I saw it the start of January, and I just got it because my vouchers have lasted me ages, and I still have vouchers left. And it's this Mickey Mouse hot water bottle. I don't really need to use it right now, but come November, December 2018, I'll definitely be using this. And it comes with the hot water bottle too, which is inside here. This is kind of like a velvet feel and I love it. They barely had any Mickeys, but they had loads of minis in my Primark and this cost eight pounds. And if anyone's interested, the hot water bottle is two liters. So that was that one. And the final item is something that I think everyone has been going crazy over and I think the hype's kind of died down a little bit but I got this I think in December time too. Got it off a Facebook page and it's my very own Mrs. Potts teapot. Now in store she's £12 and I obviously paid more than that. The Facebook groups charge quite a bit but I couldn't not get her. I own chip and everything else and I was just like I need to get a Mrs. Potts in my life and she's just adorable. She's got the gold trim round here and of course on the top of her lid. I will never use her as a teapot. Um, people have said that when they've washed her, I've watched other haul videos, that this paintwork and the gold will run. So I think she's more of a display piece than anything else, but if you wanna try and use it as a teapot, then feel free, give it a go. That is Mrs. Potts. She's absolutely adorable. As I say, £12 in store is not so sure if she's available anymore. My store never got her. They literally had one table of chip mugs on like a really badly made table and I never saw them again. So yeah, that was that. So that is it for this Primark haul, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment down below some of your favourite items from this haul. And as always, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to see more of this face. I've been Disney Matt, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you real soon. Bye for now guys.